Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tokyo, where you can do lots of weird <laughs> and wonderful things like have multiple micro pizzas sleep on you in the morning. This is where we are. Very, very strange place. And we've just woken up. It feels a bit weird, doesn't it? And they're quite like a uh, rough. Yeah. yeah. Look at this one. What's he doing? What's he like yanking away? I don't know. They're chewing on something. I'm not sure about getting my nails and like scratching. I don't know. No pigs are coming through. Whoa. Oh god. Oh god. What's he doing? Uh, naughty one. This one's a bully, isn't it? Yeah. He's back, he's back, he's back. Tilly's he's got one. He's coming. Oh, this one, I don't like this. this the big one. The big ones are kind of scary. He just got rid of the nice little. Ed's he just got really fucking heavy. He just got rid of the nice little family that was on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big boy. Hello. He's a big one. Big. One year. One year. Yeah. Eleven kilograms. They will get bigger. Twenty kilograms. Ah, it's mass. Ah, okay. How old is this one? Two months. Oh, little one. I'm scared. But it's very unusual it's to have weird. a pig on you. Yeah, it's weird. So I'm not scared, but it's I'm a bit um it's weird. Do you know what I mean? Oh it's definitely weird. I mean just look at this place. <laughs> Here we have our uh, iced coffee and iced tea. Look, they're trained. Okay, now we're just filming it. They're trained? I'm quite surprised. I thought that one was like a month old. Oh god, now she's doing great. Great. I won't show you that. I'll show you these three absolute nuts. Yeah, we've got all the monster pigs on top of us. Like the biggest pigs are just They're so us. heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. They're quite aggressive. It's, it's I don't want this one. Anymore. He's going to come over to us and we don't oh, want we that. We attract all the big ones. This one's the enemy. He's moving to like tomorrow. We've got our baby back. Even these two in the middle couldn't walk on. Oh no, the, oh, no. The nasty not the nasty one. Oh, no. he's coming to beat him up. God, this big one. He's coming to go the other big ones as well. Can he just go? I must really love All these people are leaving, every single one of their pigs has just come straight over to us. Look at this one, this one is so small. I know, I like this little one. Oh, oh no, no. Don't you dare. no, you've been sleeping no, peacefully you, you this whole time. You go back sleep. to bed. <laughs> Oh my god, being covered. No, this the big ones are so sassy. Because this little baby one doesn't even care though, does it? I know. It's just a pile of pigs. A pile of pigs. It's like pig jenga. I didn't actually think I'd like this this much. <laughs> I'm getting like leg cramps. Look how many pigs are on me. I think you actually might have like. I think there's like six pigs on yeah. there. Oh yeah, put more on me, that's a good idea. Look how many are on Eddie's. Look how many are on Look, here we go. Oh god. Arigato. Okay, bye, bye pigs. Bye. These absolute mountains. Big Bob is still asleep. Oh my god, he's still there. That was a very, very strange way to start the day, wasn't it? It felt a bit surreal, but I actually enjoyed it, Wayne. Way more than I thought. I enjoyed it a lot. I was a little bit concerned about the ethics behind it or whatever, but the pigs in there just yeah. seemed like so well cared yeah. for, so happy. They obviously love humans. They mostly just sit in there and get stroked and like played with. And the people, the people like the people that work there, clearly loved them. Yeah, like, they were loving. Yeah, now that was a really, really wholesome pig-filled experience. And not too expensive at all. I, it's like, that cost us how much? It's like 25 quid yeah. with two drinks for an hour with the pigs. We're going to head further into Tokyo now. Let's start exploring Japan's capital city. Here we are, Shibuya, which is potentially the most famous place in all of Tokyo. 
and that's for one reason which is this crossing here is called a scramble crossing 3,000 people cross it at a time I don't think there's that many here right now but in the busiest time of day and every single light every coal stops in all directions and everyone will cross at once here we go here we go look at the carnage from every side so you can just go you can go anywhere anywhere it's a scramble <laughs> All the foreigners are filming and they must get the people must get so annoyed. Well it is carnage. Should we go back? This is basically the uh Times Square of Japan as well as so many advertisements. It probably gets more eyes on it than anywhere else in Japan. So full. We're trying to find a statue of a very famous Japanese dog called Hachiko. You wait till you hear about Hachiko. So this is the statue of Hachiko, the most famous dog in Japan and potentially the world. He was adopted by a Japanese professor and would come with him to the station every day. The professor worked at the University of Tokyo and then Hachiko would go home and then come back at 4 p.m. every day to meet his master and walk home with him. But one day the professor died of a brain hemorrhage at university. But Hachiko, being the loyal mutt he is, came back every single day for nine years until he was eventually found dead near the station. And this statue was erected just before his death to honor his loyalty. I mean, what a story, what a dog. Nine years he came back to the station to wait for his master. What do you think about a Chico? So cute. I want it's a dog like, like they love their dogs so much. Yeah, I want a dog like a Chico. This is all a queue of people trying to get a photo with a Chico. Tilly's just taking a photo of a tree for some reason. The autumn colours are so nice. When you think of Japan, this is what you imagine, isn't it? Now we're going to a very special place in Eddie's heart. What is it? Pokemon shop. Pokemon. Uh, Ed, look. Look what that is. Do you know what Pokemon that is? Absolutely no clue. Mewtwo. You couldn't come to Tokyo and not go to Pokemon shop in the home of Pokemon Japan. Yeah. Ed, I like this one. Who's this? I don't even know what that is. This looks like Gen 10 or something. I don't know what that is. I think I might break all my rules of travelling and actually buy something from a shop that I don't need to survive. <laughs> I'm looking for Snorlax, my favourite Pokemon. What is I like the, like? I want the mini one though, you know what I mean? Oh, you saw it's an absolute there. nerd fest in here. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Memorize it. Okay. The first ever Pokemon game, the first ever series is Ash What's with his little these? Pikachu. They look like cards, but good ones? Tilly's obsessed with buying cards to resell them in England like she knows anything about that. Now we appreciate the uh, entrepreneurial spirit. We found one yesterday. How much was it? About five thousand. Oh pounds. no, it was it was like fifty grand, I think, for like this Pikachu in uh, Akibara where we were yesterday. You can customize T-shirts, make them yourself. Oh, Pokemon chopsticks. Should we get two? Should this we get is two? even better than finding Snorlax. Yeah, we got to pop some of these. Which ones do you want? These ones. Okay. It's more obviously Pikachu. Okay. You having a good day? I love it here. Only 90s kids will understand the effect Pokemon had on our lives. That's what I'm looking for. How much is it? 350 yen. Alright, we'll cop that. I put a new laptop. Yeah, we'll cop that. That'll do. Tilly's obsessed with finding Snorlax well, stuff I now. Find you a little you'd, you'd, make a good, you'd make a good Pokemon trainer, that's for sure. I want to find it's the kind of bear. perseverance you need. Finally found a Snorlax product. And it's a hairband. A hairband and lip cream. They had to mock me like that, didn't they? Kanto, where Pokemon began in the games, is actually slightly uh, oh. north of Tokyo. The amount of people in here is insane. 
But Pokemon is the biggest game franchise company in the whole world. Like the most successful ever, the most high grossing cards, TV shows, games, shops, and now Pokemon Go. We found it, but it is absolutely. I don't think we can fit that in our luggage, sadly. It's nice and comfy. No, I'm good, I'm good. I'll get to attach to it, it's like the pigs. <laughs> Busy. Hello. 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 We can watch the master at work. Hello. Wow, here we go. go. These okay. are the best restaurants in the whole of Japan, and if not the entire world. Not that expensive as well, if you choose the correct place, okay? The colored plate. It's like they want to chart all those different prices. Yeah. You grab, eat, and then Ed, the this day, is what I want to try. Uh, this one. Oh, arigato. Yeah. This one. Arigato. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know that. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. I love this place. I don't right. get it again. Let's get more. This is the problem, you just, you just start grabbing and you get carried away and then suddenly your plates rack up and so does your bill. Ed's is trying this rogue one. I think it's got, maybe it's not chilli, it looks a bit like, it like okra. Okra, like rice and fish. What's this? Fish eggs or minced salmon? It looks a bit like fish eggs. You want some? Hey, okay, I will have some of the salmon that So far from. we've got a... Uh, cheap, 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 cheap. 138 yen a plate, which is like... 70p. Wow, that's pretty good. Some people say Japan is expensive. I'll tell them. And people say Japan is expensive, is what you said. What's that? Get one of these nice ones. I'm going to. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the possible. I'm still only 2.20. Still only one pound. Excuse me. Can we have some wasabi? Okay. Oh, thank you. Hi. Arigato. Yes. Uh, Let's get wasabi. It's a little bit, but you can put a bit oh, more no. on top. It's boring though. You love the wasabi. I tell you why. It's weird. Japanese wasabi is nowhere near as spicy as like you get in like a Japanese restaurant in England. It's more, way more like taste, taste of something. In England, I feel like it's just pure spice. So this is fatty salmon. It's the most premium one we've had yet. The rest have all been the cheap ones. Good. Tilly's gone to the bathroom, so now I'm going to town. I've got a octopus one here. I think it's maybe squid. Let's find out. I love that one. Tilly only eats sushi that doesn't look fishy. No, that's not true. I, I just, I, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> My minced tuna is so good. They got just some pure egg coming out here as well. Oh, I just love it in here. This is literally, I've never seen anything so passionate about restaurants. It's like my favourite food well. plus entertainment. Yeah. Plus like a bit of excitement, plus draft asai, which I already need another one. Beer. The plane thrown out. We learned the other day that you put your soy on top, you don't yeah. dip. That's the Japanese way, you don't let the soy touch the rice. Tuna. Thank you. Thank you. You can grab the random ones, but you can also request special ones. And there's super boss man here, we'll just make it for you. <laughs> Have you got it everywhere? Oh, and Eddie. It stains as well, it's just classic. The classic view, honestly, this boy. Oh my god, this looks so good. I don't know which one to go for. I'm, I'm making my tea. I'm going for this one. I get. I got scared. No, sorry, I'm not distracted by the cheesy corn. As you get free match of tea, that's now. I'm going to be carried on these trousers forever. And this is a new favourite one: cheese and chili and prawn. Oh, arigato! Wow. This is the end of our sushi tower. We're done. Who knows how much this is going to cost? Thank you, it was so good. Amazing. The moment of truth, everyone. 
Uh, 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 That is the greatest restaurant in Japan, if not the world, by far. Eddie is obsessed. All of that sushi, you I saw know, how many plates know, and a beer know, was 3,500 yen, which is about, it's about 18, 18 pounds. Yeah. Pretty amazing. I feel great after that. Where are we going now? Now we're going to a very special shrine in Tokyo, which is in the woods somewhere. You wouldn't believe there was a woods near here, but there is. <laughs> After this we're too full and this shrine's a bit of a walk isn't it classic yeah, you see a lot of japanese people sleeping on the tube in their car on their bikes very sleepy place i think they're just overworked for the most part as yeah most people already know especially here in the city it's yeah. it's a hard grind